Hello, thanks for watching. Let me show you how I make a potion prop with Smooth Ons and Caps OK to ink your silicone. So I'm just preparing the part A, um, shook it up like the container told me to, and pouring it into two cups, trying to um, get the same visual volume. I'm going to get it as close as possible. And in Caps OK is a tin cure silicone that's mixed one to one by volume. Uh, the part B is very low viscosity, very, very easy to pour. And we've got it right about to the same height. Perfect. Close up that container nice and tight. I'm going to use Ignite, which is a fluorescent uh, pigment system. I've got a whole bunch of colors here to choose from. I want something a little more uh, spectral, kind of ectoplasmic uh, for this potion. So I'm going to start with a green. So I'm just mixing it in with a, a wooden crafting stick. And I've got it completely green, um, but that's still a little light, so I want something a bit more vibrant. I'm going to use some more uh, Ignite this time, the fluorescent yellow, and there we go, a nice um, spectral, supernatural effect. I'm going to pour these materials into a new mixing container just so I have a little bit more room to mix and pour. This is just a glass bottle that I, I got from a, a local craft store. You have 60 minutes um, in this pot light to help reduce the amount of bubbles that I'm pouring into the container. I'm pouring in a long thin stream. You can see those bubbles though um, floating up to the top. So here's the bottle after 24 hours. You can see it's nice and firm, it's not going anywhere, it's not liquid any longer. Here's an example that I like here in our mixing container. And Caps OK is it's really flexible um, and it breaks and tears away very easy, which is nice for ice or glass effects. And here's some examples that use Smooth On's Cast Magic series too in sort of a suspension. I hope you have a lot of fun with your projects and thanks for watching.